Hi there, and welcome to The History Teacher. This revision video covers early Elizabethan England, 1558 to 1588, of the GCSE Edexcel History 9 to 1 course. Hopefully, you'll also find it useful though, even if you're studying any of the other exam boards, or even if, like me, you just love history. Hi there guys, so we're still looking at the reasons there was an issue between England and Spain and the events that led up to the Spanish Armada. Today we're going to be looking at the final reason for the problems, which is the Netherlands and the events at Cadiz. If you've missed the previous videos, you really need to go back and watch them now. They will provide you with the background that you need to understand why the Netherlands and the events at Cadiz happen. In August 1585, Elizabeth signed the Treaty of Non-Such with the Dutch rebels. This treaty promised that Elizabeth would pay for an army of over 7,000 English soldiers who would be led by one of Elizabeth's favourite courtiers, Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester. The plan was that he would work with the rebel government known as the Council of State. This brought the two countries closer to war because it was possible that the Council of State, supported by Dudley, would declare war on Spain. However, the plan was largely unsuccessful for several reasons. Firstly, Elizabeth did not actually want war with Spain. She had actually hoped to negotiate with Philip II, so Elizabeth didn't send Dudley enough resources to support the army, let alone defeat Spain. Secondly, William Stanley and Robert York, who were two of Dudley's chief officers, defected to the Spanish, leaving the Dutch to wonder whose side Elizabeth was actually on. And finally, Dudley and Elizabeth had very different goals in mind in the Netherlands. Elizabeth wanted the Netherlands to continue to be governed by Spain, but with greater freedoms for the people, while Dudley wanted to end Spanish rule of the Netherlands and create an independent state. So the outcome of all of this was that the Treaty of Non-Search and the following campaign didn't really achieve very much. Dudley did manage to prevent the Spanish from capturing Ostend, which became important later because it prevented the Spanish Armada the chance to join up with the Duke of Parma. However, Dudley could only cause the Duke of Parma, the leader of the Spanish troops, problems. He couldn't actually defeat them. So finally, we come back to the activities of Francis Drake and his importance in stirring up the conflict between England and Spain. Following the events in the Netherlands, from January 1586, Philip II begins to build up his army and navy in an anticipation of an invasion of England. He's especially building up his large fleet of ships to become an armada. Elizabeth's spies inform her of the massive fleet and in March 1587 she orders Francis Drake to attack the Spanish navy, hoping to disrupt the plans for invasion. Between the 19th and 22nd of April 1587, Drake led a fleet which attacked the major port of Cadiz on the south coast of Spain. The attack was actually pretty successful, destroying 30 ships and a huge amount of the supplies that Philip had amassed for the invasion. This attack became known as the singeing of the King of Spain's beard, because Drake had nipped in and damaged the heart of Philip's invasion plans and then just nipped out again. After this, Drake just goes off to do what he does best, which is attacking and stealing from Spanish ports and ships. This event is important because it has two main consequences. Spain had to look to its own defences and to rebuilding its supplies, which delayed the Armada by a year. And it brought England crucial time to prepare for the Spanish Armada of 1588. Okay, that wraps up the reasons for the increasing tensions between England and Spain and the eventual Spanish Armada. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment. I always reply as quickly as I can. Don't forget, if you like my content, I'd really appreciate it if you buy me a coffee to keep me going. That's everything for today and I will see you next time.